that stream, let me dream neath the sky. This old heart keeps on beating, repeating, fond echo of the brave and the bold riding high. Judge B. Do you think I'm crazy with the heat? Me trust Big Ben out of my sight with my share of the pickings? I swear sometimes I think I'm local. Putting up with a stubborn mule like you for a puck. Well, it's a good thing that I am. Else than you robbed me out of everything I got coming years ago. Uh. Well, I wondered where you two old sidewinders been holed up. How are you? Hey. Miss Letty. Oh, hello, Miss Letty. What you got there, Drunken Rich? Not yet, Judge. Oh, no. Let the judge pour it. You think I want you hiding nuggets under your fingernails? Why, you suspicious and sultan little worm, I ought to work shell games at carnivals, but he ain't fooling me. Now, is this a new fight, or is it the same one still going on? Oh, it's the same one, Judge. Nobody, Nobody can get along with that little... Honestly, two grown men acting exactly like little boys. Why, you two don't even try to get along. And yeah, now, take it easy, Daddy. Oh, it's working together, eating and sleeping together. And you fight day and night. Oh, now, Miss Letty. Oh, I don't care. I think it's just disgusting. Hey, you got your grub list and Letty will fill it. No, he's got gig. Give it to him. You oh, got it in your pocket just there. Just a minute. Just a minute. Here, go see if we got these things, honey. But, Uncle Now, go on, child. Go on. Thanks, Judge. Hey, that's a mighty pretty little gal, but ooh. Well, let's see what you got here. $235. Is that all, Judge? You thought there's a little more than that. Who oh, if you so. Well, that ain't very good pay. After all those weeks we worked. No, it isn't. When are you two going to give up that scraggly, no good, worthless diggings you call a sunburnt mine? Give it up? Oh, no. Why, I should say not. Why, he'd like nothing better than to have me pull out so he can find the mother vein. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You know what I think? I think he's found that bonanza load, but he's keeping it a secret, hoping I'll pull out and he'll be rich. But I won't. I'll never pull up stakes. And neither will I. Everything's there. Oh, good. Here, Uncle Willie. Well, now, here's your receipt for the gold. 
why I give it to him. Well, it's got both your names on it, Ben Foster and Ben Haney. Nothing he can do with it without your signature. Oh. Thanks, Judge. Yeah, be seeing me. <laughs> that might be too heavy for you. Uh, <laughs> 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 Lady, did you ever see gold like this before? It's a funny color, isn't it? Kind of red. Yeah, it's got copper or iron in it. That's why they call it sunburnt gold. That's what the two bands named their mine. You know something, Uncle Roy? I don't understand how those two can work together and live together and hate each other the way they do. Hate each other? My big and little Ben's two of the best friends I ever saw. They are. Either one of them cut off his right arm if the other one needed it. They'd die before they'd admit it. Well, then why do they fight like that? Oh, just keep from boring each other to death. All I can figure. <laughs> Mighty strange. Try something new, Uncle Roy. Hope you like it. You done yet? Just about. Have some? No, not now. You'll spoil your dinner. If you're that hungry, I'll get you a glass of milk. Judge Letty, look who I bumped into coming to town. Texas Ranger. Steve. Hello, Judge. Hello, Letty. Hello. You got off the reservation, ain't you, son? We out here west of Biggin. Now, I know that you're the law out west, Judge. We would just like to drop in on you once in a while, just so you'll know we haven't forgotten you. Heard about your big robbery. Any leads on it yet? No, nothing you can bank on, Judge. Our best bet is they'll try to spend some of the money. It's all in gold, isn't it? That's right, Jeff. All brand new $20 gold pieces right out of the mint. Here. Take a look at these markings. Now, if you see a new $20 gold piece with those markings, you'll know it came from the stolen gold shipment. See? Well, I'd better head on down to Saunderson. I'll be back in four or five days. Can't you stay for supper? I'd like to, Luddy, but I've got to notify everybody. Just in case these outlaws start spending some of this money. Well, maybe on the way back. I'll take you up on it. Bye. Be good. So long, Steve. Bye, okay. Steve. Bye, Luddy. Sure wish him luck. Why? Jeff. If you were smart enough to pull a hole up like that, you wouldn't turn right around and be dumb enough to spend brand new money, would you? No, I don't think I would. Neither would I. Them rangers are in for a lot of trouble. Hey, little Ben, looky. Claim jumpers. Are you sure? Gotta be. What else would anybody be doing way out here? My golly, you're right. Come on. He's hurt. Yeah, sure. Well, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Hey, Ben. Uh, oh, all right. Throw me this punk back here. Yeah, just free. I'm 
do it. All the years you've been my partner, you never fooled me once, Big Ben. They sure pull axe you, son. You got a lump there as big as a prairie dog burrow. Uh, feels twice that big. Keep your hand down. You say there's two of them? How much do they get? Now that's the confoundest thing. What is? I went over that whole ranch, and nothing was missing except two things. What were they? A hammer and an old anvil. Your anvil? Yeah, it wasn't worth much. I used it for showing horses. Been on that ranch longer than I have. What in the world would anyone want an anvil for? Of all things. Beats me. But to slug a man over the head and risk going to jail, somebody wanted an animal mighty bad. What are you doing back here so quick, Big Ben? Well, a, a party in Nats just came by a place heading west, Judge, and, and they bought our extra supplies. Oh, I see. What, what's wrong with little Ben? What do you ask that? And all the time I've known you, neither one of you have ever come to town alone. I thought maybe you could... Well, well you, you, you see, Judge, a little Ben just didn't feel like making the trip again so quick. That, that's all. All right, you come on in. We'll get you supplies. Big Ben's back again, lady. So soon? Yeah, a bunch of nesters bought up their stock of supplies. Want to help him out? Sure. Hey, are you sure this list is right, Big What's Ben? Wrong, lady? Well, this is three or four times as much as you've ever wanted before. Well, well, you see, Miss Letty, we figured if any more nesters went through, uh, we'd be ready for them. Get yeah, the man what he asked for, John. Let's see what you got. Don't suppose you scratched up much in a week. Lady, big and little Ben really hit it. A real bonanza pocket. 
That's wonderful. No wonder little Ben didn't come in. He's too busy out the front burn mine making a fortune, eh, Ben? <laughs> yeah, that's right, Judge. Would you mind asking him if we could have cash this time? We in the treasury draft good enough? Well, it ain't that, but we'd rather have the money. Well, sure, Ben. Anything you want. I'll get the rest of your supplies. Something wrong, Ben? Anything you want to talk over with me? Why not, George? What makes you say that? I'll be seeing you, George. Hey, give me a regard to little Ben. Uncle Roy, we're low on broccoli flour, baking soda. Anything wrong? Something sure kitty wampus about all this. What do you mean? Big Ben. All these years he's been tramping the desert, breaking his back, shoveling, and sweating, and starving. When he finally struck it rich, you'd think he'd be a little happy about it, wouldn't you? Yes, I should think so. It sure looks like they made a pretty big haul here. <laughs> You'd be so busy making a fortune, they could have to hire somebody to do the fighting for them. What'd you say, Uncle Roy? Well, I was just talking to myself, honey, about our rich friend, Big Little Ben. <laughs> And no one's seen a nickel's worth. Maybe they left the country. No, I don't think so, Jeff. Texas Rangers have been on the lookout. I doubt whether a mosquito would get across that border without being noticed. Well, then they're still here somewhere. Yeah, and they've got to eat. Our best bet is they'll come in for supplies. Supplies? That's it? What's wrong, Judge? I've been a blind, blithering old fool. It all adds up. Everything. What adds up? We've had those bandits right here under our nose, and I've just been too blind to see it. What do you mean? After scrabbling for years for a grub steak, Big Ben came in here with a sack full of nuggets, all exactly the same size and exactly the same weight as a $20 gold piece. Are you sure, Judge? Just a minute, I'll show them to you. We're looking for gold coins, not nuggets. Son, it'd be the easiest thing in the world for anybody to pound a gold coin into a lump the size of a nugget. If he had a hammer and an anvil. Yeah, it would. You're exactly right, Judge. These nuggets were pounded out of a $20 gold piece. Hey, right. they're the markings. Sure enough. Okay. Where is this mine, Judge? Yeah, we'll take you to it, right, Jeff? We sure will. I want my anvil back. Lenny, you look after the store. If anybody comes in on court business outside of paying fines, they'll have to wait for me. And honey, lock up them nuggets. All right, Uncle Roy. We may need a parameter. <laughs> Seventy-five hundred. 
So you double crossed us. No, I didn't. I didn't. Judge the way you caught on like you did. If I'd had a lick of sense, I'd have caught on a lot sooner. You would? Anybody that'd bring a bag full of yellow nuggets out of a mine that'd produce nothing but sunburned gold. Why, of course. course. <laughs> yeah, go along, you burn. <laughs> Well, I see you got back your animal, Jeff. Sure did. And all the gold, too, except the nuggets in your strong box. This year, court's now in session. Wait a minute, Judge. I'm afraid you're going to have to waive your jurisdiction. Uncle Sam's got a much bigger claim on these men. Now, it's not that I recognize any higher authority west of the Pecos, but the prisoners are remanded to the custody of the Texas Rangers for trial in the federal courts. Thanks, Judge. I knew you'd see it that way. But when Uncle Sam's through with them, I'll bring them back to your court. How's that? Get on your horse. Well, I'm much obliged to you, Steve. But you know, I don't think I'm going to live quite that long. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the land. 